Hello, welcome and nice to see you on one of the Happy's CH video channels. This is just me rambling about why I am still on YouTube. Is it because I get something back from them? Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't say they don't give me anything, but give, do they give me anything I can't get anywhere else? And that's a clear no. Uh, am I there because the crowd is there? Well, kind of, but I'm not the guy that is on places where the whole crowd is going most of the time. Because the crowd is often not going to where I want to be. Uh, why could it be? <coughs> Out of any personal reasons, what is it YouTube makes great for me? Do they have a great user interface? Yeah, okay, it works, it does its job. Do they have great statistics? Yeah, well, they still keep telling me on the dashboard how much money I made, even though they made sure I can't make any money. Uh, and it's so much in this th those statistics. Yeah, uh, not not important for my size. Anybody can give me decent statistics for what I actually need. It. What else could it be? Why I am still there? It's probably not because of me. You know, I'm a programmer, web programmer, PHP and stuff like that. And I've worked for 20 years in several web-based businesses. I've installed many frameworks, web frameworks in my life content management systems. I've written stuff myself. And is it because they have a good German interface, which is my mother tongue? tongue? Well, actually, not so much. I guess my English is quite good enough. Everybody, every service does have a decent English interface. Yeah, so why I am still there? It's because I think I should have to stick there, stick around there, just to show the small YouTubers, the tiny ones like me, that it's sometimes worth to stick around, even if the times are bad at the moment. And that's not so much because of times are bad for YouTube as a company. Yeah, okay, that's that's for sure, they, they don't have great times. Uh, but more to say, if you just move somewhere else, and let's face it, especially the small YouTubers could easily switch. For example, daily motion, okay, a bit limited maybe in, in resolution, do we actually have to care as the tiny YouTubers with 50, 80, 100, 100 subscribers about if our video is in HD or 
Super HD or 4K or whatever. Uh, especially if we do some rambling explaining videos or things like I do. Do we have to care about that? We eat, we can't even afford a 4K 24 or 48 pictures per second camera. We, we can't pay, we can't buy one, so we can't make videos in this quality anyway. Is it an example the 2 gigabyte upload limit on daily motion? Well, if you reduce uh, resolution by the tiniest bit, you are under, under 2 gigabytes. If you split your videos in two parts, which is quite a good strategy actually, because uh, I guess viewers don't like two hour videos, they, they have a bit of problem following them if, if you ramble along or if you talk about the technical topic for more than 20 minutes, it, it's, I guess people forgot what you have said at the beginning anyway. It's even after 10 minutes, it's already quite hard. So, as an example, daily motion, which I'm on, maybe you watch it there, is quite sufficient for, for my needs and for the needs of thousands of tiny video creators. But still, all those technical reasons, I personally, I could go to my private website and set up a newsletter sending tool myself and uh, yeah, put it all together in the text editor. It would work, I could make it work. And yeah, those five to maybe 20 people watching my videos, they could watch it there and download it. And Nah, I, I would not need, I would not even need any service platform at all at the current situation. So it's not that, but YouTube was on its way to become a really great platform and it was, it already was quite a great platform, especially for small creators in the past because they they sent you a, f a few cents or a few dollars, you could buy a coffee per month with YouTube made money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a great feeling actually. I never had that feeling actually because I got demonetized before I had uh, my first dollar uh, anyway. But it even felt great to have a few cents on, on an account adding up. Yeah, that was quite nice. I have to say, and I think YouTube is somehow seems to want to give that up for no good reasons. I, I think it's, it's about the pennies. Sure, a million pennies are a bit of money, but they have so such big stuff and so high expenses, so they have to get millions of dollars anyway to keep the whole system running, so that, that, that wouldn't be a high percentage. So they have, I don't know what they actually think behind the scenes. And I even understand that they don't tell us everything. That's you're doing business you you should communicate in a crisis but you still have to think about what and how you communicate so full disclosure would just mean we get swamped with stuff nobody understands but i think if if we now move over all the small guys they just can say See, I told them they don't stay. It's, so they can make it kind of like our fault. And I don't want to, to do that. 
yeah, you reach 10 minutes. That's a good limit to end the video. And just I hope you could follow me that staying with something, even if times are bad, can be a good thing, actually. Which does not mean looking for alternatives, trying out other platforms or broaden your activities is a bad thing. We are business people after all, aren't we? Tiniest of businesses you could think of, but you have to think like a businessman or a woman in this way. But still leaving something too far might actually make it sink even faster. And uh, sometimes the captains on the bridge are not aware that they make their, their ship sink by the way they act and then somebody has to stick around to tell them. Yeah, I guess. Thank you for watching, listening. I might even put up an audio version of this to SoundCloud. Yeah, that might might be worth considering. I will spread this video on all the platforms I have an account and still know the login details. <laughs> I guess I try, tried out stuff years ago and yeah, you know the problem. So, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time on the platform you preferred and I happen to be on. And if you want to comment, feel free. And if you want to give me a tip on a particular platform, I'm just not, I'm new. For example, in what language might be a good thing on Feel free over a topic or whatever. Bye.